Um, I represent sort of a progressive uh, equality organization that um, has really been interested in the national organization of marriage and the marriage equality LGBT issue. Um, but we, you know, we're sort of wondering, you know, based on the fact that you were crowned queen of San Francisco Pride, you know, why, why you're on this tour. Yeah, the thing is I had a big conversion and I appreciate you being here and asking. About a year and a half ago, my father got sick with cancer and he passed away. And I had a big, big change in my life. I still have gay friends, which I love with all my heart, and they love me. They respect the way I think now, and I'm just inviting everybody. Doesn't matter what gender. Doesn't matter your... Um, Sexuality. Uh, sexual preference. Doesn't matter your... Sorry, my English is not very good. Doesn't matter your sexual preference. I'm inviting all the people in general to a life of sanctity. So, for example, I used to live a life, a crazy life before, which I say it openly in many aspects of my life. And a year and a half ago, I made a promise of abstinence. So I have friends that are gay and they chose a path of abstinence. So we're not judging anybody, we're all sons of God, you know, and God loves us all. But definitely there's a path to sanctity and I care. And we're not judging, I'm not judging, it's just inviting, like for example for me, it's work. Before, honestly, I wasn't like happy, you know, with my life. And I looked in the mirror and I wasn't happy. And now, now I have a treasure, I found a treasure that I want to share with people. You know? So do you not support gays and lesbians' right to get married now, since you... I, I support, it's not what I don't support, because I'm not judging and I'm not saying, I'm going, sometimes people think, oh, you're going against. No, I'm not going against. It's like, if you like chocolate and I like vanilla, I still love you. I don't care if you like chocolate, I love you, but respect me that I like vanilla. Don't impose me to like chocolate, no? So I'm putting it in a very simplistic way, but what I mean is I'm promoting what is chastity, I'm promoting, because you could be gay, but be abstinent. Like for example, me. I love guys. No, I used to have a, a before, <laughs> before, and I say this with all my heart and in a very simple way, because I'm not a politician, I'm just here inviting people to vote their values in the sense of, like for example, my life before was crazy, you know, and and, um, and we all have temptations, definitely. I'm trying to do my best with my English. Yeah. But what I mean is, for example, instead of now having a boyfriend and just, I would like to get married. I'm a single mom, I never got married. And I learned from my mistakes and God changed my life completely. Yeah. So I have the temptation, I like men. Yeah. But you know I control myself. Right. We're not animals, so you, you know? think that gays and lesbians should control themselves more and not go after the chocolate? Or is yeah, that, is that... you know, they could choose, if they're really, really, because sometimes I have friends, for example, that, um, how could I explain? that are gay and they accept themselves. Okay, I'm gay, but I'm not happy, for example. Yeah. They're, they're not happy, so they choose another um, lifestyle, like the abstinence, and they try it. And now I have one of my best friends, he's like, wow. Like, yeah, but I'm happy, I feel happy, no? But it w wouldn't it be, wouldn't it encourage monogamy and sort of responsible behavior if gay people were allowed to get married? I think part of the reason that, you know, we're, we're sort of talking about this, or, you yeah. know, we have these ideas about it not being sanctimonious, or, you know, that it's sort of, you know, they're doing everything and everyone, yeah. is because we haven't had a system that encourages, you know, committed monogamous relationships. Like, I th think that might be a natural option. You. And I know, you know, you say you're not trying to be judgmental, but National Organization of Marriage, which is helping to fund this, funneled millions of dollars into but a that's campaign. that's not true. That is true. We know, I know a lot about no. the National but Organization of that, Marriage. That's fine. I just, I mean, we're, no, we are willing to ask their questions, but not in an argument. I mean, it's... Oh, I'm not trying to argue at all. But if you're press, you ask a question. I mean, it seems to me that you're presenting an argument more than a question. Okay, well, I was going to try to get to a question. Okay, what's the question? So, you know, you're saying that you're not being judgmental about it, or that you're not saying people can't do what they want to do but there's this organization and you're on this bus um, that is sponsored by an organization that spent millions of dollars to help 
make sure that gay and lesbian people couldn't get married. But it's not focused on that. It's funny. Like we're focused on the okay, values, on we're pro on the life, road right now, on pro okay. life. You know, on traditional marriage. We're focused not on destroying you. We're in another page, you know, and it's in a page of promoting just traditional marriage. Hi. And like I was saying, like pro-life and uh, in favor of immigrants, it's like a, a whole thing, you know? So it's not focused on one thing, it's focused so on, be on many things. Gay and lesbians getting married then. No, um, I'm, I'm in favor of traditional marriage, you know what I mean? I'm in favor of traditional marriage. So and between I, one man and one woman? Yes. And so you wouldn't, it, not that you would personally get married to three woman, you're going to have to continue, continue this, this later. We have to continue 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 this later. We have to continue